We've all heard it, drink eight glasses of water a day to stay hydrated. It's practically a golden rule. But what if I told you that might not be entirely true? What if I told you that drinking too much water could actually dehydrate you? Sounds crazy, right? The truth is, hydration isn't just about drinking water, it's about how well your body absorbs and retains it. And that depends on something most people overlook, electrolytes. Without the right balance of minerals like sodium, potassium, and magnesium, water can't get into your cells properly. In fact, Drinking excessive amounts of plain water can flush out essential electrolytes, making you feel fatigued, bloated, or even dizzy. In this video, we're going to debunk hydration myths, uncover the science behind real hydration, and give you practical tips to stay truly hydrated. Let's dive in. The hydration myth, why eight glasses a day is not a rule. We've all been told that drinking eight glasses of water a day is the key to staying hydrated. But have you ever stopped to wonder where that rule actually comes from? The truth is, this so-called golden rule of hydration is based on old, generalized recommendations that don't account for individual needs. In fact, the origins of this idea trace back to a 1945 report from the U.S. Food and Nutrition Board which stated that adults need about 2.5 liters, or roughly 8 cups, of water daily. However, what most people ignore is the very next sentence in that report. It stated that most of this water comes from food and other beverages, not just plain water. Over time, that key detail was forgotten, and the idea of drinking 8 glasses a day became a widespread hydration myth. The problem with this one-size-fits-all approach is that everyone's hydration needs are different. A physically active person, someone living in a hot climate, or an individual on a high-sodium diet may need more water than someone who is sedentary, living in a cooler climate, or consuming a water-rich diet full of fruits and vegetables. Plus, our bodies are designed with an incredible built-in hydration mechanism, thirst, which naturally signals when we need fluids. So, instead of forcing yourself to drink a set amount of water daily, a better strategy is to listen to your body, pay attention to thirst cues, and consider your lifestyle, diet, and environment. What is true hydration? More than just drinking water. When most people think of hydration, they picture drinking plenty of water. But true hydration isn't just about how much water you drink, it's about how well your body absorbs and retains it. Proper hydration happens when there's a healthy balance of fluids and electrolytes both inside and outside your cells. Without this balance, simply drinking more water won't necessarily hydrate you, it could actually flush out essential minerals and disrupt your body's delicate fluid balance. Water enters and exits your cells through electrolyte-regulated channels, which means that hydration depends on the presence of key minerals known as electrolytes. These charged particles help control the movement of water in and out of cells, ensuring that your body stays properly hydrated. The most important electrolytes for hydration include sodium. Regulates fluid balance, supports nerve function, and helps with muscle contractions. Potassium works hand-in-hand -hand with sodium to hydrate cells, maintain heart health, and regulate muscle function. Magnesium plays a crucial role in muscle relaxation, nerve transmission, and energy production. Chloride works alongside sodium to maintain proper fluid balance and support digestion. Calcium helps regulate muscle contractions, nerve signals, and hydration balance. Without these essential electrolytes, water cannot properly enter your cells, leading to dehydration, muscle cramps, fatigue, and even dizziness. That's why true hydration isn't just about drinking water, it's about making sure you're getting the right minerals to help your body absorb and use that water effectively. Why drinking too much water can be harmful. We often hear warnings about dehydration, 
But what most people don't realize is that drinking too much water can be just as dangerous. Overhydration can throw off your body's delicate balance of fluids and electrolytes, leading to a condition called hyponatremia or water intoxication. This happens when excessive water intake dilutes sodium levels in the blood, disrupting essential bodily functions. Sodium plays a critical role in regulating fluid balance, nerve function, and muscle contractions, so when its levels drop too low, cells begin to swell, especially in the brain. The symptoms of hyponatremia can range from mild to severe and may include headaches, nausea, confusion, muscle weakness, and in extreme cases, seizures, coma, or even death. This condition is especially dangerous for endurance athletes, those who consume large amounts of plain water without electrolytes, or individuals with kidney or hormonal imbalances. So how can you tell if you're drinking too much water? Some key signs of overhydration include clear or excessively pale urine, indicating your body is flushing out too much water. Frequent urination, especially waking up multiple times at night. Swelling, water retention, bloating, or puffiness, which can indicate electrolyte imbalances. Dizziness, confusion, or feeling lightheaded, often caused by low sodium levels. Instead of forcing yourself to drink large amounts of water, a better approach is to listen to your thirst signals and ensure you're replenishing electrolytes along with fluids. Drinking water in moderation, based on your body's actual needs, is key to staying truly hydrated and avoiding the risks of overhydration. Why listening to your thirst is important. Your body is an incredibly intelligent system, equipped with built-in mechanisms to regulate hydration. One of the most powerful of these is thirst. Thirst isn't just an inconvenience, it's an advanced survival tool that signals when your body actually needs water. Ignoring this natural cue and forcing yourself to drink when you're not thirsty can disrupt your body's fluid balance, dilute essential electrolytes, and even lead to overhydration. Modern hydration advice often promotes drinking a set amount of water daily, regardless of individual needs. However, scientific research has shown that this approach can be problematic, particularly for athletes. Studies on long-distance and ultra-endurance runners have found that those who drink according to thirst perform better and avoid the dangerous effects of overhydration, such as hyponatremia, low sodium levels in the blood. On the other hand, athletes who force excessive water intake, thinking they need to stay ahead of dehydration, risk serious electrolyte imbalances, fatigue, and muscle cramping. This applies to everyday life as well. The best way to stay properly hydrated is to trust your body. Instead of blindly following generic hydration rules, pay attention to your thirst, urine color, and activity level. If you're thirsty, drink water, preferably with electrolytes. If you're not thirsty, there's no need to chug water just for the sake of it. Your body knows what it needs, learning to listen to it is the key to optimal hydration. The hidden dehydrators, what you drink matters. When it comes to hydration, not all drinks are created equal. Some beverages do more harm than good, acting as hidden dehydrators that rob your body of essential fluids and electrolytes. Understanding how different drinks affect hydration can help you make better choices for your health. Caffeinated beverages, coffee, tea, energy drinks. Caffeine is a natural diuretic, meaning it increases urine production, which can lead to dehydration if consumed in excess. While moderate amounts of caffeine, like a morning cup of coffee or tea, aren't necessarily harmful, drinking too many caffeinated beverages, especially energy drinks, can disrupt hydration by flushing out water and electrolytes. This is why some people feel jittery, lightheaded, or fatigued after consuming high-caffeine energy drinks without adequate hydration. Alcohol, the ultimate dehydrator. Ever wonder why you wake up parched, with dry lips and a headache after a night of drinking? 
That's because alcohol is one of the most potent diuretics. It increases urine output, depletes electrolytes, and disrupts fluid balance. The more you drink, the more your body loses essential hydration, leading to hangover symptoms like headaches, dizziness, and fatigue. If you're consuming alcohol, balancing it with water and electrolytes is crucial to minimize dehydration. Sugary drinks, fruit juices, sodas, sports drinks. Many people assume that fruit juices, sodas, and sports drinks hydrate the body, but they actually have the opposite effect. Sugar pulls water out of your cells, leading to dehydration. This explains why diabetics with high blood sugar levels experience frequent urination and excessive thirst. Consuming sugar-laden drinks can also cause insulin spikes, energy crashes, and unwanted weight gain. Even many so-called hydrating sports drinks contain large amounts of sugar, counteracting any electrolyte benefits. While drinks like coffee, tea, and even an occasional alcoholic beverage are fine in moderation, overconsumption can dehydrate you rather than replenish fluids. To truly stay hydrated, prioritize water, electrolyte-rich beverages, and hydrating whole foods. The truth about sports drinks and electrolyte supplements. When you think of hydration, sports drinks might seem like the perfect solution. After all, they're marketed as essential for replenishing electrolytes and boosting performance. But here's the reality, many sports drinks do more harm than good. Instead of helping you stay hydrated, they can spike blood sugar, add unwanted calories, and even disrupt metabolic health. The misconception about sports drinks. Most people assume that sports drinks are designed to rehydrate the body and replace lost electrolytes. While they do contain essential minerals like sodium and potassium, many are loaded with sugar, often more than a can of soda. This excess sugar doesn't just affect hydration, it can increase fat storage, contribute to insulin resistance, and lead to energy crashes. If you're not engaging in intense, prolonged physical activity, consuming these sugary drinks can do more harm than good. Hidden Dangers in Sports Drinks Beyond sugar, many commercial sports drinks contain artificial flavors, colors, and preservatives. Some even use genetically modified GMO, sugar sources, or artificial sweeteners that may have negative effects on metabolism and gut health. Additionally, traces of glyphosate, a common herbicide found in non-organic sugar, have been detected in many conventional sports drinks, raising concerns about long-term health effects. While companies promote these drinks as healthy hydration solutions, they often contain ingredients that undermine true hydration and overall wellness. How to choose the right electrolyte supplement. If you want to truly hydrate your body, choose electrolyte supplements carefully. Look for zero or low sugar options. Avoid anything with high fructose corn syrup or artificial sweeteners. A balanced mix of electrolytes. Sodium, potassium, magnesium, and chloride. No artificial additives. Stick to natural ingredients without synthetic flavors or colors. A clean ingredient list. Opt for organic, non-GMO sources whenever possible. How to properly stay hydrated, practical tips. Hydration isn't just about drinking water, it's about maintaining the right balance of fluids and electrolytes in your body. While many people focus on how much water they're drinking, true hydration comes down to absorbing and retaining the water effectively. Here are some practical, science-backed tips to help you stay properly hydrated without overloading on plain water. Drink when you're thirsty, trust your body's signals. Your body has a built-in thirst mechanism designed to regulate hydration levels. Instead of forcing yourself to drink a specific amount of water each day, listen to your body. If you're thirsty, drink, but if you're not, don't overconsume. 
forcing excessive water intake can flush out essential electrolytes and even lead to overhydration. Consume electrolyte-rich foods. Hydration isn't just about drinking liquids, it's also about what you eat. Many whole foods naturally contain hydration-supporting electrolytes that help balance fluids inside your cells. Some of the best electrolyte-rich foods include avocados. High in potassium, which helps regulate fluid balance. Leafy greens. Packed with magnesium for proper muscle and nerve function. Bananas. A great source of potassium to prevent cramping and dehydration. Nuts and seeds. Contain essential minerals like sodium, magnesium, and calcium. Coconut water. A natural electrolyte drink with potassium and sodium. Sea salt. Provides natural sodium to maintain water retention and balance. Measure hydration using urine-specific gravity strips. One of the best ways to check if you're properly hydrated is by using urine-specific gravity strips. These inexpensive test strips measure the concentration of particles in your urine and give insight into your hydration levels. Normal range, 1.010 to 1.030. Below 1.010, indicates overhydration, diluted urine, possibly losing electrolytes. Above 1.030 suggests dehydration, concentrated urine, body needs more fluids. Adjust water intake based on activity and climate. Your hydration needs are not static, they change based on your activity level, environment, and lifestyle. In hot weather or dry climates, your body loses more fluids through sweat, so increase water intake and add electrolytes. During intense workouts, especially endurance training, replenish lost fluids with electrolyte-rich water rather than plain water to prevent cramping and dehydration. For low activity days in cooler temperatures, you may not need as much water, drink according to thirst. Hydration isn't just about drinking more water, it's about maintaining the right balance of fluids and electrolytes. Drinking excessive amounts of plain water can actually flush out essential minerals, leading to electrolyte imbalances and even overhydration. Instead of forcing yourself to drink a set amount daily, listen to your thirst, it's your body's natural hydration signal. Avoid diuretics like excessive caffeine, alcohol, and sugary drinks, as they promote dehydration rather than replenishment. Be cautious with sports drinks, which often contain hidden sugars and artificial additives. Opt for natural electrolyte sources like coconut water or mineral salt. Want to take control of your hydration? Try using urine test strips to check your hydration levels and adjust your water and electrolyte intake accordingly. Your body knows what it needs, learn to listen to it,